Now we are working new details on a local school closed until further notice because of serious chemical concerns. We have learned that students at Talbot Middle School will not be allowed back for the rest of the week. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Sotnik is live now in Fall River. Well, PCBs have been detected at the middle school. We all know that, but now they're testing the air quality to see just how high those levels actually are. The test results at the Edmund P. Talbot Middle School in Fall River are expected back tomorrow, and a second test is expected back on Friday. At question whether the school has dangerous levels of PCBs. Our intent here is to protect the uh, safety and health and well-being of the students and faculty. We've learned Talbot was built during a time when the use of PCBs was permitted, mainly in the window caulking. We've called a special meeting of the Fall River School Committee, uh, which will take place Saturday morning. At that time, a game plan will be finalized. An assistant to the superintendent would only tell a school is closed for the rest of the week and referred all other questions to the mayor. The mayor says they're watching the situation closely. If the students at Talbot cannot return to the building, alternative locations throughout the city of Florida uh, will be identified for them uh, to continue with their learning process. And we can tell you that meeting will take place again on Saturday at 8 a.m. and it will take place at the Spencer Borden Elementary School here in Fall River. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom again from Fall River, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.